Hi, I'm Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check, fill, and change the oil in your lawnmower. I'll start by showing you how to check the oil. On most lawnmowers, you're going to have a fill tube and a dipstick. I'll unscrew the dipstick and remove it from the fill tube. I'll wipe the oil off of the dipstick and then place it back into the fill tube. I just place it in. I don't thread it back into place. Now I'll pull it back out and we can take a reading. The oil should be in the hash mark section. If it's low, I'll need to add. If there's too much, I'll need to remove it or just change the oil. Once I've checked the level, I'll place the dipstick back into the fill tube and screw it into place. If you check the oil level and find that it's low, you might need to add some oil. It might be low because enough oil wasn't added last time the oil was changed. If the engine is badly worn, it will consume a large amount of oil. Or maybe you've gone too long between oil changes and it's low because the engine will consume some oil with normal use. Periodically, you'll need to change the oil in your lawnmower. Most manufacturers recommend about 50 hours of operating time. For most homeowners, a good guideline is once per year, usually at the start of the season. What we'll need to do first is tip the lawnmower to drain the oil. When you do that, you need to make sure that the carburetor is pointed up so the gas doesn't leak from the carburetor. Also, it's good to try to wait until the gas tank is empty or nearly empty so that the gas doesn't leak from the fuel cap. Newer lawnmowers will have a carbon-filled fuel cap and the gasoline can get into that carbon and damage it. Refer to the engine's owner's manual for the correct type of oil or check the manufacturer's website. Typically, a lawnmower like this is going to use either 10W30 or 30 weight motor oil. If your lawnmower has a fuel shutoff valve, it's a good idea to turn that off before tipping the mower. Now I can drain the oil from the mower. I'll remove the dipstick, set it aside. I've set up a pan to catch the oil, and now I'll tip the mower and drain the oil through the fill tube. With the oil drained from the engine, now I can tip the mower back onto its wheels. Now I can fill the engine with new oil. I'll place a funnel into the fill tube. And I'll add the oil slowly, checking the level with the dipstick as I go. After I add, I'll wait a second for the oil to settle into the crankcase. Still just a little low, so I'll add a little more. And that looks correct. And I'll replace and secure the dipstick.